Welcome back, Nail Crew. Welcome back. Welcome back. So on Instagram, I asked you guys, should I do a fill or should I just do a whole new set? And most of you guys said, girl, do a whole fresh set. So in this video, I am going to soak off my nails and do a little bit of chit chat. But before we get into that, I just want to give a thank you, a special shout out and thank you to the following people. So Anthony, thank you so much for your donation. I really, really appreciate it. Lizbeth, thank you so much for your donation. I appreciate it. It's me. Thank you, girl, for them $10. I appreciate it so much. Katina, thank you for your donation as well. Veronica, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yes, I do deserve a girl. I do. Thank you. Kelly, thank you for your donation as well. Siobhan, hey, girl, hey, thank you for your donation as well. Lizbeth, she said, uh, why not again? Uh -huh. Well, why not? Thank you. <laughs> and then Cynthia, aka it's me. After the premiere was over, she went on my PayPal and sent me another donation. So again, thank you to It's Me, aka Cindy. I thank all of you and I appreciate it. All right, y'all, let's get into these nails. So I'm showing you that I need a fill. It's been well over a month, but guess what? No lifting and all my stones are in place. So y'all was worried about me doing my nails. Y'all was tired of seeing this blue, but it really don't look that bad, y'all. It don't look that bad. So here's everything that I'm going to be using today. If you guys are trying to remove your nails, basically this is what you will need. So. I have some nail soaker containers. I have some acetone and these beautiful acetone and lotion containers you can find on my website. But I have acetone, I have lotion, I have a nail clipper, I have a cuticle pusher, I have some drill bits, and then I have a towel. So if you guys have all of this stuff here on the screen, then you are ready to remove your nails. So let's go. So the first thing you want to do is cut your nails. No need in wasting extra acetone on that excess length of nail that no one cares about. So cut it down. For me, I like to just cut all of the nail, including my new growth nail. I just cut everything down because for me personally, when my nails get too long, they start to curve and turn a little bit and it's just very annoying. So I just like to start fresh and I cut everything down. If you want to keep your length, then obviously you do not have to cut as short as I'm doing today. Cut to the desired length of your choice, okay? And before I go even further, you guys, I just wanna point out the way that I'm removing my nails today, this is how you would remove your nails if you had poly gel because poly gel is not a soak off system. It is a file down and then soak, okay? So if you have on poly gel nails, the exact way that I'm doing today, you need this method, okay? The full well nail tips. Yes, you guys, if you have on the full cover nail tips from AliExpress, those do not soak off. They are a nice thick plastic. I really enjoy using them, but they do not soak off. Hard gel, you girls and boys out there, if you have hard gel on your nails, hard gel does not soak off, okay? Hard gel is a file off system. So if you guys are wearing any of those methods on your nails right now, when it comes time to remove them, you cannot just stick your nails in a bowl of acetone and think that's going to do the trick. No, it will not. And you'll be sitting there for days and days and days. So I'm going to show you guys how I remove my nails, okay? So you saw me cut them short. You always want to start with that. And then you want to remove the bling. Now what I'm using is a crazy industrial strength toenail clipper. You guys do not need something like this. You do not. You could get away with like cuticle nippers or something like that. Something less scary. But you know, someone suggested that I try this and I do like using it. I do reach for it all the time when I'm removing my bling, but it is really scary to look at. So if you're new or intimidated, do not get one of these, okay? It's a toenail clipper, but if you're scared of it, just use cuticle nippers and just use whatever you're comfortable with. So even with that heavy duty toenail clipper, I still wasn't able to remove all the bling, but that's okay because I'm going to use my e-file to remove the rest. So I have this e-file from a car. I really like it. I've been using it a lot lately and I do like that it has a foot pedal. So I'll press the foot pedal so that you guys can see 
So it's turning, it's spinning, I take my feet off and it stops turning. So now I'm just going to remove the old product and I am using an extra coarse drill bit, which I gotta say, it does look a lot scary, you guys. When I was new, I thought I would never, never come close to a drill bit like this. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? It looks hella scary. But when you use it properly, it just works so well. It just removes all that extra product, you know, the poly gel, the hard gel. It even helps to break down the full nail tip. You know, if you guys were using the full well nail tips like I used in this last set, you need something coarse to just help to remove that quickly. Now, if you guys are scared, if you guys are scared because you're new, you could downgrade. You definitely do not have to use something extra coarse like I'm doing today. You could downgrade to something medium. It might take a little bit longer and that's fine as long as no one's bleeding in the end, right? So if you have to use a medium drill bit, that is okay. Again, I am using something extra coarse and the drill bit that I'm using, I will leave in the description box. I got it from Amazon. So check out my Amazon affiliate link okay so I'm just going to remove the rest of my product and I want to talk to you guys about my next collab you guys okay so here we go all my new youtubers first of all hey y'all hey 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 welcome to the youtube family all right so here's the thing that I'm getting a lot you guys started your channel, you know, you're working on content, you got your first 50 to 100 subscribers, and now you're stuck. Like, you cannot grow past 50 to 100. And I remember those days, y'all. I remember those days. I can't wait until I hit my 500 subscribers. That was just like, <laughs> I was just so happy when I got my 500, you guys, let alone a thousand, right? So there's a lot of ways to grow your YouTube channel. I'm not disputing that. But one of the ways that was most beneficial for me was collabs. Hello? What? And they're fun. And it's more content for your channel. So I feel like collabs are win-win for everybody involved, right? You're growing your channel organically. Hold on. Hold that thought. I want to show you guys my lap. Let's just, just look at my lap. Look at my lap, you guys. <laughs> this is what, it, and I am wearing shorts. Don't try it. I got on shorts. But this is what your lap probably would look like when you're done. <laughs> All right, y'all. So now that the nails are filed down, I am going to soak them in my cute little soakers. And I did get this from a nail sister. Shout out to you. Thank you so much. I am putting it to use. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. This thing came in handy. I don't know where she got it, but I'm sure you guys can find it on Amazon or eBay or maybe even AliExpress. If you guys like something like this to remove your nails, I definitely think it is a good investment. Once you file your nails down, you fill up the little containers with acetone, stick your little finger in there and just let them soak for a good 10, 15 minutes. Okay, so what I was saying before you guys, a good way to grow your channel in which I grew my channel organically was with collabs. You get with someone who has about the same subscribers as you, maybe even more, and you pull from their subscribers, they pull from your subscribers, and you guys just share, and you just build a family, a community, of YouTube sisters and brothers. So that's what I want to help you guys do. So speaking of collabs, I just did a collab and while I soak my nails off, I am going to watch some of my nail sisters that participated in my collab. So I did create a playlist. It's the 21 for 2021 playlist and it's still growing. I hope to get at least 100 videos in that playlist. But I am just going to sit here and watch all of our videos that are in this playlist while I soak my nails. And that is a good way to gain watch time. If your video is in a playlist, a popular playlist, it's going to get watch. It's going to increase your watch time, which we all know is very important if you guys are trying to grow on YouTube. All right, so really quick, I did switch from that extra coarse drill bit to a fine drill bit, and I also have my cuticle pusher. 
texture. So I let my nails soak for about 15, 20 minutes on each side. And I'm going to show you what you do after you soak your nails. All you do is you grab your cuticle pusher and you just try to scrape off the excess product, right? Whether this be poly gel, hard gel, or the full well nail tips, it would be exactly the same. You file down most of the product because that cannot be soaked off. So you have to file it away. Then you're going to soak off the last layer, which basically is the base coat, right? And nine out of 10, most base coats are soaked off. So you guys wanna go ahead and soak it at that point. Use your cuticle scraping tool or your cuticle pusher and just scrape off all of that excess product. And look how tight. I just wanna show you guys how tight these little things are. If you have fat little sausage fingers like me, oh, these things are super duper tight. Be warned, I warned you. I don't know if you guys consider that a good thing because the acetone won't leak out or a bad thing because you're cutting off your circulation. But either way, you have been warned, okay? So once you take your little fingers out of there, whoo, 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 whoo. Yeah, it's going to feel real good that it can breathe again. But all you do is just scrape off the excess product. And then you're going to grab your e-file with a medium to fine drill bit. Then you're just going to remove the extra product. And all you do is keep repeating that cycle if needed until all the product is removed off your nails. And that is it, okay? This is how I remove my nails. Poly gel, hard gel, or the full cover nail tips, the same exact way. Because all of those products are a file down system and all of those products require you to file it and then soak, okay? So again, I'm showing you guys with my medium to fine drill bit. It does have a safety piece and I do have it on a very, very low set and I'm just going to file over what's left on my nails. All right, so let's talk about the collab. Let's get back to the collab because I really do want to help some of you guys grow. I remember last year when I started my channel, actually, I think I've had my channel for a year and a half now. So I remember when I started and yeah, it was just really hard to just grow, to just hit that 1000 mark. And then when I did, woo, I just took off from there. So I really wanna help you guys get to that point. And like I said, collabs are a really, really good place to start. So my 21 for 2021 collab is still open, you guys. If you guys do a video and you want me to add it to my playlist, send me your link to my Instagram so that I can add it, okay? And don't forget, one of the key components in that particular collab is that you tag someone else. You have to tag someone else. So once you do your 21 items that you are carrying into 2021, you have to tag someone else so that they too can do their 21 for 2021 and so on and so forth. And I wanna add all of you guys to the playlist so that you guys all can get your watch time and we all can grow. So now my next collab, I want to do top 10 YouTube channels to watch in 2021. What do you guys think about it? I definitely know I have so many channels that I am like dedicated to watching. Not all nail channels, you guys. And I do not want you guys to judge me. Don't judge me when you see who I watch, what I watch. I don't want to hear it. This is a judge-free zone. Okay, hold that thought. Look at my nails. There is still a little bit of product on there. So if I wanted to, I could go ahead and soak it again and then continue to file down until it was all removed. But I don't mind a little bit of leftover product on my nail. Actually, I feel like it protects my nail plate. So I'm just going to leave that. I feel like they are good enough for me, but you guys continue to soak and file until all of it is gone if that's what you choose. Make sure you finish it up with some lotion because all that acetone will dry out your fingers, your cuticle area. It will be a cracked, dry mess. So please apply your lotion, okay? You can get the lotion from my website. I will leave the link in the description box. But all you wanna do is apply it all over your hands. You guys know how to put on lotion. I don't gotta describe how to put on lotion. 
<laughs> you guys know how to put on a lotion. And then you're going to follow that up with cuticle oil. And yes, I do sell the cuticle oil on my website. So like I said before, a link to my site will be in the description box. But let me know what you guys think about my collab ideas. Who's in? Who's in? You guys, if you guys are trying to grow your YouTube channel, you better raise your hand and let me know you guys are down for my top 10 YouTube channels to watch in 2021. I think that's going to be so fun and we are not restricted to just nail channels. I wanna know all, all the messy mess you guys are watching on YouTube because I wanna watch it too, okay? Judgment free. All right, y'all, so stay tuned and I'll give you more information on that particular collab. I'll see you next time. Bye!